welcome the host of the Skeptic Tank Podcast, Ari Shafir. Okay, this is a, a quick story about how I understood the lyrics to a song for the first time. Um, I went to China last June. I got, a, I got three weeks in China for comedy. They sent me there. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Every once in a while, comedy really pays off. Just got to live in poverty for nine years and then get your free trip to China. <laughs> They told me two things. I went for comedy, so they told me two things before I went. They gave me two rules. First rule, they said, no bringing drugs in of any kind. Because they said it's punishable by death. Yeah, and I was like, fuck. How much weed can I bring? And they were like, Ari, none. And I was like, counter offer, some. And they were like, don't do it. I'm like, I'm bringing pot cookies to the plane. You can't stop me. The other rule they gave me is they said, um, they said, no making fun of the Chinese government. No making any jokes about the Chinese government. And I was like, I don't have any jokes about the Chinese government. <laughs> get over yourself, Chinese government. Nobody's talking about you. <laughs> Here was the cool thing about China. Well, everything. Here was the terrible thing and about all of Asia. It's the toilet situation. <laughs> yeah, so, you know the seats that go up and down for men and women, like that seat? So they don't have that seat. And then they also, they don't have the whole toilet. They don't have any of it. <laughs> they don't have toilets. They don't believe in it or something. They just got holes in the ground. I'm literally, it's like a regular bathroom floor with tiles and everything. And then where the toilet should be <laughs> is just this hole. And you're supposed to go over it like a college basketball coach. And you're just supposed to squat. <laughs> <laughs> you're just supposed to squat and shit into this hole. And they don't tell you at all. They don't tell you about any of it. And so I went there and I was walking around, having a good time, and I got this important phone call from my friend Diarrhea. And um, that's when I really started to hate China because of this toilet situation. I run to the bathroom, I just sprint to find the bathroom. I burst open the door. I'm telling you right now, when you open up a stall door and there's no toilet in there, <laughs> your mind can't even wrap its head around what's happening. It's like some sort of optical illusion. You know, it's like, which line is longer? You're like, I don't know, top one? You're like, no, same size. And you're like, bullshit, measure again. Regular bathroom floor, tiles, and then just hole. It looks like a union guy was coming to install a toilet, and then it was like, oh, lunchtime, and then he just left. <laughs> and they forgot to get back to it. And then I remember like, oh, they told me about these, these shit squat toilets. That's what you're supposed to do. And I realized, right then, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I was born an American, and I'll die an American. <laughs> and so I left. I walked out, and I got like two steps away, and then diarrhea was like, of course you're doing it. And I was like, oh yeah, diarrhea, I forgot about you. <laughs> so I go back into this, into this stall, I close the door, and I'm looking at this hole. Here's my first question. How far do you take your pants down? I've done it and I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> I have no idea. My first thought was like, take them down to your ankles. Cause that's how I normally do it. But then you can't do that because here's the deal. I went down, I took them down to my ankles and then I like lined it up. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> like my asshole is directly above my pants. how am I not gonna shit into my pants? <laughs> Unless a heavy gust of wind comes by, I'm for sure gonna shit into my pants. So anyway, it's not down to your ankles, I don't think. And by the way, the one time you want handicap bars to hold on to, they don't have handicap bars. They make you be zen about it. You just gotta use your core. So here's what I did. I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I took my shirt off. <laughs> and you know the hook that's on the door of the bathroom stalls? I just sort of hooked it on there. And then I... <laughs> Lowered myself. I just got to do it that way. I feel like a shit right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know if that's the right answer or not, but that's what I did. It seemed to work. It seemed to work. I mean, I shit that way, so... I felt good, too. When I did it, I was like, yeah, live like a real Chinese person. <laughs> so anyway, I finished, and I was like, yeah, I did it. I got up to wipe, and that's when I found out that they don't offer toilet paper in China. <laughs> yeah, they don't believe in it. I think their theory is, you're the one shitting, you clean it up. <laughs> and that's not wrong. It's not even that it's wrong. I'm just saying, you should warn people. You should let people know. Like, everyone who lands at the airport with a round eye, they should give them a pamphlet and be like, here, you're gonna have some problems. I'm standing there, I'm like, what am I gonna do? Well, anyway, here's the deal. Five days before, I landed in Shanghai. Uh, I got to a club, the first place I performed, this bar, and the bar owner was like, um, oh, you just got here today? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, oh. And he gave me this packet of tissue paper. You know those little travel Kleenex packs? Yeah. And he gave me one of those, and he goes, here, you'll need this. <laughs> it was like Gandalf had come up to me or something, you know? And I was like, what will I need it for? And he just goes, you'll know. And but he was right though. He was right. I was standing there in that fing toilet at the at Forbidden City and I was like, what am I gonna do? I was like, oh, I got no toilet paper! Yeah, I'm gonna have it! I was so excited. Here's the problem though. They don't give you unlimited tissue paper in one of those things. They give you six. With six, you can't be an American anymore. You can't be like, oh, four at a time. I love to waste. Most resources in the world. USA, USA. Not with six. With six, you got a budget. You got to make everyone count. You got to start like way from the bottom. I'm going to go all the way up to about here. Fold. <laughs> Go back, start from the bottom. Now we're here. And I kept doing that, start from the bottom, now here, start from the bottom, now here. And that's when I realized what that Drake song was all about.